I dedicate this video to Alan Wallace. He meant so much to me and the astrophotography community I love so much. <laughs> And I'm trying to uh, improve on my beard after seeing his first vlog, you know? He's the beard master. Great to <laughs> you. This is a Dutch rock ladder. <laughs> it should go <come> through. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's too funny. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> it's a good evening there. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm with a uh, random German guy. <laughs> We have just climbed this mountain and uh, we're going to wave Orion goodbye. I guess that's me. Yeah, we will. So what is brighter? Moonlight or that stupid, <laughs> bizarre spotlight of a tracker or something behind us? Oh man. So yeah, let's just hope these uh, lights behind me go out because they will kind of ruin our shots. I mean, look there. If I point you there, the, <laughs> the whole focus, the whole rocks Jan is shooting are light painted, but not in a very good way. Oh, that's a good composition. <laughs> it's pretty good actually. Oh, that is a brilliant composition also here. Okay, so while Jan behind you, I'll introduce him later, is um, getting his foreground shots of this awesome rock formation. He's doing uh, somewhat Polaris, I think. I'm checking uh, behind me where uh, Orion will be setting. Also just trying to get my bearings a bit, get some grip because I'm Dutch, we don't have hills, we don't have rocks. But I'm getting used to it. <laughs> That's a beautiful location. It's uh, yeah, pretty awesome. I think there are multiple compositions possible, but I think I'll just go for this rock here, which you, I hope you can see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, one thing which bothers me just a little bit are the clouds. But hey, what else is new? You've heard that before, right? <laughs> but hey, we're having a night out just playing outside and meeting uh, Jan, of course, finally, after about one and a half years. <laughs> so yeah, awesome stuff. While waiting for the clouds to pass, we continued working on our compositions. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I'm, uh, I've worked myself into a uh, comfortable position here on this rock. Orion is getting very low on the horizon now, but I found a really good composition with the rocks uh, acting as a leading line and you have one central rock just breaking the horizon and Orion is just a little bit to the left of it. So the rock comes from the left of the frame into the large rock and then Orion above it. I think it takes you uh, through the scene really well. Uh, yeah, I didn't film a lot until now because it, for me it gets uh, it's a bit uh, getting used to uh, where to set up my tripod on these uh, small rocks here, but uh, I'm getting the hang of it. Jan is back there, he is uh, scouting for more compositions. I'm just focusing on this one. I'll do a, a focus tag and also a um, exposure blend, I think, because uh, otherwise uh, the lights uh, on the horizon line uh, in the valley will be a bit too blown out, maybe. But uh, yeah, so far so good. It's clearing up. So mostly I'm saying the clouds come rolling in, but this time the clouds are rolling out. So <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> Beautiful night. So what is this focus stacking I am talking about? Sometimes it is not possible to get everything from front to back sharp in your photo. This is especially the case if you are close to your foreground subject. 
As astrophotographers, we are also often working with a wide open aperture to gather more light, decreasing the depth of field further. In these cases, you need to make multiple exposures where you shift the focus point a little further with each frame. In the processing, you can blend these together for a sharp result from front to back. Now, let's go back to location and see how we handle Orion. Okay, so I think this is my uh, foregrounds done. And now we're going to set up my tracker here because it's a clearing up and I think Orion will look beautiful. It's a setting now, so uh, I'll have to hurry up a bit. But first there's someone who still deserves a proper introduction. So here we are. Indeed we are. So uh, I'm sitting here with this uh, random German dude. His name is Jan. Maybe you recognized him. So nice maybe to you finally can, uh, meet. <laughs> yeah, it is. We have been talking about this for one and a half years. But yeah, maybe you can tell, yeah, tell me something about yourself. Well, uh, at first, hi mom, hi dad, I'm on YouTube, and that is really nice, and especially hello to Mate, because he was always looking forward to see me in front of the screen. So, uh, I mean, look at his beard, me. man. No, look no, I'm sorry beard. for the beard, beard but I, I tried my best, but that's all it got. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm from Germany, from the Münsterland, yep. which is a flat area, and uh, luckily it's not as light polluted as mm -hmm. uh, the center of uh, North Rhine-Westphalia, yeah. which is the Ruhrpott, which is extremely light. You yeah. won't see the Milky Way there at all. It's difficult here as well, but I think it's a bit easier than in the Dutch uh, territory. So I'm, I'm really always amazed by your, <laughs> your videos and your Thanks, experiences. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Shooting the really, night sky. I should uh, uh, say, uh, really check his Instagram and his photos out because he is working from so much light pollution all the time <laughs> and he's getting 300% uh, detail out of his equipment. I really have no idea how he does it, but somehow he manages. So I'm cheating. That, just, that, that just gives cheating. me hope. Just cheating. Yeah. <laughs> You're just uh, using a James Webb uh, uh, data or something. <laughs> I wish I had. <laughs> um, well, uh, I think at some point we, we need to get back together, you and me, and yeah. just try to do another, uh, you know, just editing video. Oh, I, yeah. I, I would love to show you some <laughs> tricks because um, my biggest steps mm -hmm. in astrophotography in the last year came from uh, working with the Starless version of my shots yep. and also with an H-Alpha version. And both techniques I learned from you. So it's time <laughs> Thanks, to give man. back, I guess. So, <laughs> so thank, thank you as well. <laughs> <laughs> my, my pleasure. So basically you're saying your shots are so good because of my techniques. Yeah, yeah. I'm, thinking, I'm, br okay. I'm a brilliant thief. <laughs> no, man, that, that, that is what, what it's all about, you know, sharing experiences and also tonight sharing locations. Can you tell me where we are? I think it's called the Wochenes Weib. Uh, yeah, yeah. In, in German, it's Hockenes Weib. Hockenes Weib. Which is um, a squatting woman in um, oh, English. Okay, and, okay. You know, you can see it right behind yeah. us, this huge rock formation there that, well, with much fantasy, looks like a Hockenes Weib. Okay, a okay. Woman. <laughs> that's um, funny. <laughs> legend has it that this was a wife that got down on her knees during a great flood okay. um, and everything drowned around here and uh, the children could, uh, you know, climb on her back. She turned to stone so her children could be saved from that flood. Oh, really? That's the legend around it. Nice. And it makes really for the most beautiful rock formation in the Münsterland to my uh -huh. liking. Yeah. Nice, yeah, it is beautiful. I mean, I am Dutch. I am not used to any rocks at all. We also have these really small stones which you see on driveways. So when we walked in the forest, I, I, I was really flabbergasted seeing the first rocks of a meter high. But here, yeah, it's just so insane. It's really cool. We are looking out over the valley where, uh, to the uh, southwest, I think. We see Orion there setting. This might be, really might be this time, the last time I'm photographing it. We're kind of uh, waving it goodbye for the season. But saying our last goodbye story. Right, yeah, yes. but it's really good. So, uh, yeah, before we get too comfortable, let's just get our shots in now and uh, <laughs> we'll get back let's to you later, man. Goes. Yeah, So we're back safely down here at the romantic uh, car parking spot with shady figures, including us. Yeah, uh, no, uh, <laughs> now it's only us, hopefully. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> uh, Jan, uh, thanks again. I've really had a beautiful night here in Germany. Uh, really great compositions, I think. Uh, 
a bit eerie for me to stand on those rocks with that uh, yeah, kind of drop-offs. Uh, but yeah, you have to uh, keep on pushing and uh, push your limits. Well, for Dutch you, you went up <laughs> full mountain goat mode. That was great. <laughs> he is overreacting. <laughs> anyway, there's a car coming, all right. Hey, uh, anyways, if our shots turn out to be any good, and I really think they do because it looked epic on the back of the screen, especially Jans, I have to be honest here. Here are our shots, and uh, thank you again for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. So here is my result, consisting of three focus tech exposures for the foreground, plus one with a shorter exposure for the highlights in the valley. The sky is 17 times tracked and stacked 30 seconds, ISO 1600 at f4. Everything was shot at 14 millimeters. In the second exposure, I subtly blended an H alpha layer from a previous shoot to give it a bit more pop. What do you like more, the extra H alpha version or just the original, which was all shot on the night itself? While checking out his star trail time lapse, let's see what Jan was up to this evening. His first result was this star troll image which I think is very well aligned to the squatting woman rock. This next picture is probably one of my favorites of his of the evening. Not at all because it is the best astro selfie of myself as of yet. Speaking of selfies, take a look at this one. I absolutely love the composition and the amount of H-alpha detail he was able to capture.